2020 has been a lot. A lot of couch sitting, binge watching, sweatpantsing, stress eating, feeling stuck kind of stuff. Get up and get unstuck at Planet Fitness. Join for just $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment. Now through November 18th. Stress less and move more in our super clean and spacious clubs. And the crowd meter in our app helps you pick the best time to visit. Join for just $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment. In club or at planetfitness.com. Deal ends November 18th. Planet Fitness locations are independently owned and operated. See club for details. It's 822 on AM Tampa Bay, and we're joined now by Dr. Susan McManus, retired USF political science professor and our favorite cephalogist. And Dr. McManus... It appears that um, Joe Biden is going to be our next president. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um, Biden projected to win Arizona. And, of course, the um, Trump folks are trying to overturn it in the courts. And they've had some luck in court in Pennsylvania. Uh, But, I mean, that's not nearly enough to overturn the election. No, but the good news is for people who really have seen there are lots of places there you need to clean up the election codes. And there's even some push now for standardization at the national level for federal elections to get our election codes across the country up to the standards we have here in Florida. So there's always something good that can come out of what Republicans might think was a bad outcome, but here's some rays of, of good that will benefit the next Republicans or anyone who runs for office. Yeah, that is is just cried out for now that we've got to alter the uh, election system. And while states have charge of these elections, there needs to be a national standard in the way it's all done. Absolutely. And it also has demonstrated that when you have as many people voting, because we broke records here in Florida, well, the second highest turnout since 1992, but the highest in a lot of places, that you do need more personnel and more equipment. You know, a lot of times governments, local governments and state governments don't want to fund election administration except when it's an election year. But these kind of things have to be budgeted and they're not cheap. But you certainly can see the outcome. Florida standardized its vote counting machinery after the 2018 election. And look how much good it did for us. We were one of the first states to be called. Amazing. Yeah, it really was. It was was definitely a different feel this time around. One thing I'm very interested to see here, Dr. McManus, and I don't think anybody, it doesn't matter how much political experience someone may have, this is different as far as how this transition is going to go. How do you anticipate this happening come January 20th and Donald Trump leaving the White House if, in fact, that is what's going to be taking place? Well, I can't really predict because, as you know, the president's hard to predict. But one thing is for sure, if it's not a smooth transition, it will forever be his legacy and in the future. And all the good things that he did from a policy perspective will get take the back seat. So I think everyone who cares about our country and even cares about him will hope that he ultimately concedes and that things go smoothly and respectfully. Yeah, that's a very good point that uh, he has come up with quite a legacy on what he has done so far and um, that this would be the one thing that stood out if he refused to concede. But, um, of course, a lot of people are talking about him starting the TNN, the Trump News Network, so... That might give him something to look forward to when he leaves the White House. Well, he's certainly a businessman. We know that. And he got his start in politics through the apprenticeship. So there you go. Yeah, definitely did that. Now there's major concern on the part of what Biden is going to do. The good news is for those who are concerned about us becoming a full Marxist country or socialist country or whatever you want to call it, Uh, The good news is it looks like the Republicans are going to control the Senate, and they've made big strides in the House as well, and that could stop um, Biden, or I should say stop Kamala Harris, from completely turning this into a socialist country. 
Well, those Senate seats in Georgia are going to be the fiercest fought elections that we've seen in years, and it's not a guarantee that Republicans will win either of them or both of them. We're not sure yet, but it's going to be very, very tight, and it's not a done deal by any stretch. One of my best friends professionally is an analyst like in Georgia like I am here, and I, after all this broke, I reminded him, I said, I went through 2000. It's your turn now to deal with chaos after the election. <laughs> <laughs> well, we... I'm happy to say that Florida is, should be proud of itself for the way we conducted ourselves in our election. Oh, absolutely. But uh, we'll be talking with you again next week because obviously this is going to keep going for a while. Well, that's always my pleasure, and everyone have a great weekend. All right. Dr. Susan McManus, retired USF political science professor. As a small business owner, you're reimagining the way you work. From rethinking your bandwidth to reassessing your voice solutions, you're changing the way you do business. And at Cox Business, so are we. Our flexible Internet and voice packages give you the solutions you need to get back to business. Rethink. Reconnect. Reimagine. Get 50 megs of Internet and IP-centric select for only $69 per month for six months. No annual contract required. Ends 12 31 20 Restrictions apply. Visit coxbusiness.com for details. All services subject to Cox Business General Terms.